misconception that um, Temple OS uses Flash. Um, I want to cover how this works. Um, these are icons. They're they're coded as sprite uh, document entries, um, and uh, the way the sprites work, um, you can look at. Uh, let's take let's take this as an example. I'm going to hit Control R, and we're editing the sprite. It's a scalable vector graphic, and um, this is a field of black. It, it starts off black, it draws a rectangle, then it draws stars, then it turns off or it turns on the transform. That's um, for the three dimensional stuff. And then there's a shiftable mesh. Let's look at the, uh, if we go to, uh, these are the vector um, short form. Now we're going to look at the vectors as text. They're not stored as text. So um, the little spaceship is a mesh. It's got vertices here, 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 here. And then it has triangles. The colon is the triangles. So let's change the color of the, uh, the, spa the spaceship from cyan. Let's go control F cyan to, uh, to uh, about green. OK, so we'll replace all. Now we hit escape. Now we hit exit. So now the spaceship is green. OK, this is not flash. Um, I wrote everything from scratch. And um, I have rights to everything. It's written with divine fucking intellect. This is, I wrote a 20,000 line of code compiler. Here's, here's what's on the distribution. There's a compiler, 18,000 lines of code. It has a front, middle, and back end. It parses, it optimizes, it converts to machine code. It operates just in time and ahead of time. It has an assembler. It has an unassembler. If you want to see the unassembler, it uses a, uh, a binary search. It, it puts all the, there's an opcode file, which is not shown. There's an opcode file where I, I hand typed this. I typed all these in. It's a, it's a special format I created. It's an opcode file. It gets parsed when you boot. And um, what the unassembler does is it, um, it does a, uh, a sort. First, you have to come up with a way to order the instruction addressing modes. If you can order them, then you can binary, then you can binary search. And that's what the, uh, the unassembler does. So I have full symbolic debugging. Um, well, I wouldn't, well, anyway, if we say um, debug, I have my own symbol table. Um, we can, we can unassemble, let's unassemble, uh, unassemble function uh, print. So there's, you can see it has symbolic debugging. I wouldn't say symbolic debugging. It, it has symbolic unassembly. Um, anyway, um, so if you hit F1, it goes to the help. And uh, you can look at um, the, uh, the graphics library. If you want to see the sprites, the sprites can have uh, their, I wouldn't call them scalable vector graphics. They're kind of they're integer, and if you know what integers are, they don't shrink very well. <laughs> anyway, so I do, I do a, a, I use a four by four matrix to do my my graphic projection. Um, this was a trick. I took a computer graphics course. I took a compiler course. I took a, uh, um, I took five assembly courses. I took. Um, an operating system course. My first job was Ticketmaster working on their operating system. Um, so the 4x4 four four matrix is, um, if you want to know why we use a 4x4, four four, that's so that you can combine um, translation with rotation. So an example is, um, oh, let's see. This 
Okay, so right here we have, this rotates the uh, trees, this, rotate, this rotates the screen, and then we can rotate the trees. So what we're doing is we're combining two transformations. And uh, in order to do that, you have to, you have, to have a 4x4 four four if you do a multiply. Anyway, so um, that's why we have it. It's all written from scratch. I own everything. God inspired it. He puppets me. If you want to see, if you want to see proof that he puppets me, let me go to um, just to prove that I am God's avatar and that you're God's avatar too. Um, I'm going to do nanosecond timing. That's actually uh, okay. So here's a here's a list of 230 words phrases. Anyway, um, and then here's a loop. It, um, it's going to wait until a character is pressed. Then it's going to get the timestamp count. That's a uh, that's the machine instruction. The uh, read timestamp count opcode opcode. Then it's going to print a random word. Now the timestamp count is three gigahertz. So uh, So each time I press a key is a word. He looks like McAfee. Uh, the Oracle dude, Ellison, is... I hate it when fuckers start claiming my code, little motherfuckers. <laughs>